Hey fellow ant fans, my name is Jessica and welcome to my first video on my new YouTube channel, Los Angeles. This YouTube channel is just one of the positive things that is spawning out of a really crappy situation. A lot of you um, who are a part of various ant keeping Facebook um, groups are aware that I recently um, experienced a devastating loss of my first colony and that was followed immediately by a situation wrought with scams and scumminess. And I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who rallied behind me against contemptible behavior. You guys are heroes. and. To those of you from around the world who offered me queens to make up for what happened, you are truly kind and truly generous human beings, and I appreciate the gesture very much. Throughout all of this, however, I've become a big advocate of keeping it local, which is why I could only accept one offer. A badass from Vista, California named Trevor offered me a chromatogaster queen with a few workers and just yesterday I drove down and picked her up and I could not be more excited. Meet Tinkerbell and her babies. She was found on September 5th in Warner Springs, California using this blacklight setup. So this summer, when nuptial flights roll back around, I'll probably try something like this, and I will definitely bring you guys along for the uh, for the adventure. So if you're watching this video and you think you might know what species Chromatogaster she is, I would love to know your thoughts. On AntWeb.org, there are only three different species of Chromatogasters that actually have pictures for this region. Based on where she was caught, I'm thinking that she's either Embryana or uh, Coarctata, but there is no picture of a, a Chromatogaster queen um, Coarctata. So uh, yeah, if you uh, have a little more expertise than me and you have a good idea, I would love to. I'd love to hear. It. Whatever she is, she is gorgeous. Oh, uh, I think you got something stuck on your... I think you have something stuck, All right? Uh, oh, never mind. has four workers, uh, nanotics at this point, and lots of brood. I find it super fascinating that different species of ant like this one have pupae that go through the transformation process completely naked. No cocoon. No, nothing. Just, just like that. It looks like this girl is actually trying to loosen up this uh, pupa, helping to set it free from its sticky, rigid state. And actually, the very next day after I filmed this, both of these little tan girls were up and walking around to join the other workers. This shot gives me all the feels. Poor 
getting her wings stuck on this cotton ball. Oh, she's trying so hard. struggle is real. So I figured they were probably hungry and I cut up a little piece of uh, grape and some millworm to give them and oh yeah. It doesn't seem so bad until you put a macro lens on it. Sorry, dude. Rough day. Somebody else seems pretty happy. Oh my gosh, these bubbles are so stinking cute. Probably contemplating her own death as her life flashes before her eyes. But little Miss is still struggling to clean her antenna. what it is and oh, right there I think it's just millworm gunk I guess
wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. obsessive defiantness here she's like what i'm sorry what did you say what uh i can't hear you <laughs> ah she napped somebody there you go but she's still like mm, okay that's enough you done you done you done you done, you done? You done? me or is she wearing stilettos high fashion <laughs> I am so in love with these chicas So to check on Tinkerbell or to find out what happened to my last colony, just uh, click subscribe or hit the bell icon, whatever you do for YouTube channels that you like. Uh, <laughs> but know that I have bigger plans. So I will bring you all the basics that I know about ant keeping from all the research that I've done, but I'm still pretty new to this game. So I plan to connect with other ant hobbyists and ant experts and share with you their colonies and their thoughts and their expertise when it comes to the art of ant keeping. And I'd love to hear from you. I welcome any suggestions, any words of wisdom, any tips, any good ideas. I just ask that you please uh, be kind. Um, let's leave uh, the scumminess behind us and I hope to catch you soon.